we used to have a lot colder winters that would have killed the pine beetle. It wasn't that big of a deal in the past, but when the when everything just flared up and the pine beetles just went nuts, uh, suddenly everybody knew that there was something really big going on and it was directly related to what humans were doing. Humankind is going to have a really hard time making it through the next hundred years unless we start changing our ways really quick. Unistotan camp is attempting to move as quickly as we can towards a transition phase that is comfortable for a lot of people. We want to demonstrate that we can actually transition off of this dependent, this is the system of dependency on petroleum byproducts and petroleum fuels. And that's what we've been working on for a while. So the garden is a huge part of that. We're just trying to show that we don't need fossil fuels and all these other destructive ways of getting energy and the purpose of the solar panels is so that we have, have some power that we're not requiring a generator to supply our power to our internet, which we need to communicate with people and we need it for a phone for emergencies. I think everybody has a responsibility to seriously have a look at why these pipeline companies want to come through here. You know, we need to have a really close look at that. You know, the, the fracking industry is proposing to become a bigger part of the industrialization of this planet. They, they want to replace the, the coal manufacturing plants and the coal power manufacturing plants in the world with, with fracking gas in, in past this assumption that this stuff is natural and it's safer and it's clean. And it's definitely not that. We know it's not that. And you talk to anybody in this planet who, who have, have to turn on their tap waters and allow their kitchen to turn into the, 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 turn into an environment that has the same odor as a gas station. You know, you talk to anybody who's got to go through that. You know, you talk to anybody who has children who have to take a shower and they get rashes from the, from the water that is, is being sprayed on them out of their own tap water because of fracking, you know, those are huge reasons why we have to be concerned. The ocean itself, you know, is, is being inundated with so much of human activity that, you know, adding fracking and bitumen is something that is absolutely tipping it over the edge. You know, you have the, the western um, ice sheet from the Antarctic Ocean that is collapsing right now and it's, it's melting into the oceans and it's going to change a whole lot of the way we see in our world. And this is one lifetime. This is one lifetime when everything is just collapsing. And we were forewarned by quite a few people. You, know, you look at David Suzuki and the stuff that he was doing with the natural, with, um, with the nature of things through all the seasons that he had. You, know, you can actually map out what was happening during that time period. He was demonstrating that there are massive changes happening to this planet. And we as human beings have the responsibility to start acting on those changes and start making it so that we can prevent a lot of the stuff that he was foreseeing from coming through. But even him, I, I don't think he even understood or thought that it was going to happen as quickly. And it is. If you're not influencing your family and your friends enough, then you're not going to be doing enough and your children are going to ask you what the hell were you doing in your lifetime. Yeah.